you guys. Okay, so today I have a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. Okay, so two main things that I want to share with you guys. The first gift that you should buy for the holiday season for someone very special. Something that you guys are getting a first peek at before anyone else, or I should say like a first like chance at or first access to. So that's really exciting. Um, something really cool just for you guys, just for my subscribers. And then also, we are going on a trip this weekend, a little quick weekend trip. We have a wedding that Brad is in this weekend. And then we're also gonna get away for a couple days um, right after the wedding. Um, so I thought that I would come on here and I would pack my must-haves because, or like, you know, like skin stuff, makeup stuff, like beauty must-haves, right? Because I always feel like when I do videos, I have that habit of mentioning something where I'm like, oh, this is that one thing that you could bring with you on a trip and it's all that you would need or you know what I mean. And I think that kind of stuff is really important because it just kind of shows you like things that are... Um, like staples, right? Like if you would bring it on a trip or something that you were gonna like choose to bring it, something that you must really like, right? Okay, so, so many, so many great things, you guys. Um, okay, so first let's get started. All right, so um, first of all, I was gonna talk about what, like my clothes, but I was gonna talk about this necklace, but um, if you have not picked up this cardigan yet, it is the cutest, like sort of accordion pleat, just gorgeousness with some like little pockets and um, just super, super comfy and cozy. Not like too thick and sweatery that you feel like you're suffocating when you wear it, but not like too like cheapy, like feeling papery thin that you just don't feel good about wearing it or you don't feel like it keeps you warm at all. This is such, such a good one. So check that out. Okay, so, so we are beyond Halloween, right? So y'all aren't gonna come for me if I start talking about Christmas, no. But okay, so the holiday season, y'all know I'm huge on like doing videos about gifting, which this is not going to be. I just wanted to share with you guys this one thing that will be I think the hit of like any gift giving circle or like I like to give gifts sometimes that are kind of like like a conversation piece or you know something that's like really cool that no one's seen before right something that you know no one would have that they're gonna wear and love and think of you every time so so I heard about these gift sets um, from Bobble Bar this is a part of it it's something so genius that I don't know why I've never seen anything like this before or that no one has done before it's called a BYO Build your own layered necklace set, okay? So you get six necklaces. It comes in this beautiful box. Such a pretty presentation. You can use the lid, you know, and kind of make like a really beautiful little box with it. Six necklaces that it comes with, you guys. And the key is this little attachment at the back where you can hook three necklaces to. It keeps them from tangling. Hello, like, uh, why? Okay. Y'all know, I'm huge on layered necklaces. Bobble Wire was, I think, the first company that I ever saw, or the first people that I ever saw do like really good layered necklaces that hooked together many, many years ago. Everybody does them now. Layered necklaces is something that we've always done. You know, it's nice to like layer a few that you like. They get tangled up. Even the ones that come that are made together at the end, those get tangled up. But this kind of prevents that, you know? Like with this one, I only did two of them today. So I left the middle um, hole empty. So six different necklaces it comes with. There's just two little lobster clasps at the end. So each necklace you can actually wear on its own. So I just love it. I think it's such a genius idea. This is the other, you know, like larger necklace, like the, the probably like the anchor piece, like the big Y necklace. This one is beautiful too. Again, you can see, I mean, you can wear it on its own, but so pretty when you hook it to this and put something else with it. So I could have done three. Um, this one's really pretty and sparkly. You know, I could have put that like right in the middle. And then um, this one. Now, I'm not even gonna do the math and tell you like how many combinations you can make with this thing. And like, you can totally leave out the big one and just do, just do that on its own or do like two of the smaller ones. So, yeah, so many possibilities. I think someone would get this and be like, whoa, like that's seriously cool, never seen anything like this. It's something that like you can literally wear every single day, change it up, and it looks like you've, you have all these nice necklaces that you're layering up. So, if you go and look for it on the site, you ain't gonna find it because it doesn't release until the 12th. But if you are watching this video right now and you're one of my subscribers, you can check it out before anybody else. So you have access to it right now. You can go ahead and purchase it because these holiday sets that Bobble Bar does, every, which they do great holiday sets, the good ones always sell out, and this, I think, is the best one. I have seen their holiday sets, and they've got beautiful things, but this one is by far like, oh my gosh, I was like, I have to, have to show that. So they were kind enough to do that for you guys. So um, big thanks to Bobble Bar. 
Such an amazing price, so beautiful. So I cannot wait to wear that all the time. I cannot wait to gift these myself. I'm gonna buy, I think, two more and um, I just can't wait. Like I think, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited about Christmas. I'm so excited about the holiday season. Of course, you guys, we're gonna like go hard on some gift guides and you know, you know we're gonna get there. But, um, but anyways, yeah, so today I wanted to do this video just as I was packing because I always, like the day before a trip, you know, like now I always think, okay, well, I need, I'm going to do my makeup and as I do it, I'm going to pack the stuff I use. That keeps you from forgetting anything, but I'm going to do this as we go in the video, um, but I wanted to talk about this. I've talked about this many times. You guys have seen this. I've had this for a few years now and it's just been wonderful. It's nice to have a really good makeup bag. You don't have to have a fancy one, but just get one that holds a lot of stuff. This one is... Mine is very loved. I don't even know if you can tell how dirty it is. Should probably clean that out. I say that every time I go to pack it, but then I just never do. But I love it because you can put like Q-tips, your tweezers, you know, my little eye masks, whatever, something, you know, in here. Um, so you can, you know, really do that. And I put, I put my skincare and everything in here. I'm going to show you guys how you can pack your skincare, like super, super compact, like really, really good travel tips. Um, back here, you can put like little things, I don't know, like little brushes or whatever. There's a front compartment for brushes. So like as you're getting ready, um, you can actually, this is what I do, like I'll set it on a table like when we get to where we're going, whatever. You can put all your brushes in these little side compartments. So all your stuff's in here and then your brushes are just out. Because what I used to do is when I would unpack my stuff, I would get like a cup, you know, from the hotel or whatever and I would just have all my brushes in the little cup. But, um, but that's kind of nice. And then the big compartment itself is huge. So. Um, really nice. If you want to treat yourself and get you something a little fancy, that's great. Y'all have seen that many times for me over the years, but I just thought I would show it again. And then my other thing that I use to pack, like, toiletry items and stuff is this. I used to keep my skincare in this a lot. Um, this is, I've had this for many, many years, and it's just such a classic piece. I feel like a lot of people show the smaller one, you know, that you can put in your purse, but to me, I never really got the hype or the appeal of that one because every bag that you have that would warrant, like, or that would be big enough to put a separate cosmetic bag in anyways always has a little side zip compartment on the inside. And I say just put your makeup in there. Don't, I don't like to have like a separate makeup bag in my purse, I've realized as I've gotten older because you can just put everything in that little side compartment. And if you've got a bag that's too small that doesn't have that side compartment, you can't fit a makeup bag in that anyway. So I feel like that one is a bit of a, I don't want to say a waste, but kind of, um, I like this one. I would say just go for the larger one because this is a good, good travel one. I'm going to show you how I put all my stuff in here. This is like what my toothbrush goes in. Like you put your deodorant, um, my skincare and everything. If I decide not to put it in this and it just depends on what you're doing. Like there's trips that we go on that I put like literally everything in this and there's literally just, it's not even full cause I just didn't bring much makeup. It just depends. Sometimes, you know, you're going off for like a fun trip and you want to look a little cuter or like do a wedding or something, you know, where you know you're going to be doing your makeup a little more than usual. You know, just pack whatever you want. But I'm going to show you that you can carry all the essentials and not like look like you're nuts carrying like you, you know what I'm saying? You can get it all combined or compact into this. First and foremost, my beauty blender. Okay, so we'll go ahead and jump in. This is such a good little travel thing. Stick your beauty blender in it. Chances are you're gonna get ready in the morning before you leave, and you might be carrying the same beauty blender. Sometimes I'll just pop a fresh one in there, but it doesn't matter if it's still um, damp. You just put it in here, and it stays protected, and it dries. Um, I don't bring any like cleanser or anything. I just use whatever bar soap the hotel has to just kind of swipe over my beauty blender, you know, every day. I just cracked open a new one of these, the Clinique Acne Solutions Liquid Makeup. There's so many foundations that I love, but this one, and y'all see, y'all saw that video, but this is just my happy medium. It's beautiful. When I did that foundation video, y'all, where I tried on 10 foundations, the consensus was most of you said that this one you thought looked the best, and I didn't expect that, but I mean, I know I really like it, but um, it's kind of got a good mix of everything. It's it's pretty, it's natural looking, it's not too matte, it's not too dewy, it stays put. This I cannot live without my Dior Lip Maximizer, so I will pack that and see, I'm just kind of throwing it in, and then as I get more stuff in there, I'll show you guys kind of how I, I like, you know, organize it. My tweezers, I'm gonna put in a little top compartment. I'll put some Q-tips in there too in a minute. I think that I might wear some cute lashes um, to the wedding. But see, we're actually driving to the wedding from here, so I think I'm gonna just put them on before I go. But um, but I will need my, my glue. I'll just put that in there. Gotta have this. This is my um, under eye concealer, love. It's the, um, the by Terry. My eyebrow pencil, that is a must. My shade two. 
back this, right? So like my bronzer and then this, which is like my highlighter and blush. You know, I really love this highlighter and I love that blush, you know? So it's kind of like this would be. Or I could just carry this. This is where like the whole like little packing tips come in. Try to carry something that is very compact, okay? So I've got my bronzer I can use. I've got my blush, the NARS Orgasm, and this highlighter is gorgeous, y'all. Oh my gosh, so good. So this has been one of my favorite things, the NARS um, Orgasm palette. Love that. Again, I want to go like, obviously I'm, I'm packing for a trip. I want to go as small as possible. Sometimes, like if we're just going away like for a weekend or whatever, like I will not bring eyeshadow at all. You know, like I'll just do like liner and mascara and that's perfect. But I want something a little extra. So, so the Anastasia Soft Glam is always my, it has been my go-to recently. It's got a good black, it's got good highlight colors, good crease colors. You know, some colors that are a little more fun. Love it, it's great. So, and it's not even that bulky. I mean, you can literally just stick it in the side and it's like, you know, whatever. I need a more compact version of this, like I realize, but I love this stuff. It's, it's so hard to like, to live without. And okay, I've been using that banana powder from the Tutti Fruity collection. That's in, um, you know, it's a smaller, it's a compact, but it's pressed, you know, but it's like, I feel like this one just looks better in my under eye area. So whatever, I'm gonna bring that. You know what I need to get? Do you guys remember the Too Faced Primed and Poreless powder that I used to love? I bet you that would be a real good one. I need to try that again. My lip liner and subculture, pack that. And then I don't know, I mean, I probably won't do any like crazy lipstick. I don't know, like I haven't really been into like liquidy lipstick or anything that really stays put. I've just really been liking a lipstick or just a lip gloss over my um, over my, I'm gonna try to say, over my lip liner. Um, and this has been the one I've really been loving, the Laura Mercier Bear Baby. So I think I'm just gonna do that and just keep it simple. I don't need like stay put lips. Do you know what I mean? Like I just, a nice lip liner, which honestly, the MAC lip liners, they're a little more dry. So like the Urban Decay 24 seven lip liners are almost the consistency of like lipstick. They just don't stay put. Like they look beautiful when you put them on, but they're just too like, I don't say runny, but they're just too liquidy. Like they just melt right off. This one is a little like drier and a little, mm, you know, so that's what you want. Okay, mascara. I'm gonna bring this, the, um, the Chanel volume. What's weird is like anytime I go on a trip, this is what I always want to bring. You know, like I've got the Louboutin right now, which I like. I like. I have the Better Than Sex. I have a, these are like those three are really really good ones that I that I love. But I always just bring this one because I just feel like I never really have to think too hard about it. And then I've been loving this. It's what I'm wearing today. The um, the Chanel Stylo Eyeliner Pin. And I talked about this a while back, but I kind of just got into it again, and I really love it. Like today, I literally just did um, the, let me show you, because I used this. So I used the eyeliner, well first, I, I did that last. Let me show you what I did first. Um, I did this color all over my lid, and then I did uh, this color in my crease, and then I just did that Chanel pen. Um, and then these are my natural lashes, no I'm kidding. I have been really into these again lately, you guys. The the Urban Decay, the HBIC Babies. Like, it's it's more of a wispy, you know, different look, almost like a lash extension-y, like, you know, like a, I don't wanna say a bad lash extension look, but you know, it's a little over the top, it's a little more, it's not so natural looking, but they're just fluttery and pretty, and I like that sometimes, so, that's good. And then, um, what I'm gonna do, instead of, mm, I wanna really bring, see, this is what I do sometimes, and I know, I feel like I'm going against everything that I usually um, that I usually do. You know what? If, if we weren't going to a wedding, you know what I mean? Because I kind of like have my makeup with me, but um, I would just bring literally um, which one? Is that this one? Yeah, the Au Naturel Caviar Stick by Laura Mercier. Just throw it in, and it's like boom. There's your eyeshadow. By now, like I really want my eyeshadow to really last. It's gonna be something you know all day, whatever. And then the next day, we're gonna probably be gone all day, like when we're on our little trip. The Trish McAvoy Bare Eyeshadow Base. For me, like most of the time, I'll just use one of these Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks and put it on and then put my eyeshadow on, which is great. But this is like more heavy duty. Like if I know my main look is just gonna be like eyeshadow, if I'm gonna just do something like this and I just want it to stay natural and pretty all day, this is the heaviest, dutiest, I know that's incorrect, don't come after me, um, eyeshadow primer there is, okay? So good. All right, so makeup wise, this thing is not even halfway full, right? So I think what I'm gonna do, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put my moisturizer in here. So I use the Clinique even better. This is my day moisturizer. And I can put that right in the bottom. You know, you can just like stick it right in the side. And then, I am all about some samples, you guys. Like, I live for some samples. I'll show you what I'm bringing, like, hair stuff, too, because I have a sample bag of hair stuff that I got the other day that is just kind of insanity. The Clinique Moisture Surge, the 72 Hour, is my favorite that I, I use that at night. I have two face washes, okay? So I use the, the Lancer Scrub at night, and I use, um, or I don't know which one it is, but I use the Neutrogena, the oil-free acne wash in the morning. And instead of bringing those two huge tubes, I live for these little travel containers. I have so many of them. I will link to them. I've used those for a very long time. They've never leaked. My deodorant, of course. See, like, I can fit everything in here, honestly. And I wouldn't even have to bring this. But sometimes, like, I don't know. Like, sometimes I do want to separate it. So I may start putting some other stuff in here. Because I always end up putting my toothbrush and stuff in here at the end. Um, this, sometimes I will pump it out into one of those little containers. But I'm just going to carry it because I don't want to wash out another one of those. And then the Basha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I love that they sell a little, um, a little travel size. Here's a huge tip. When you buy these, if it's the large size or the travel size, don't think this is just a little packaging thing and you need to throw it away. Keep this little guy and always keep it on your travel one because this keeps it from leaking. So it, as long as that's on good, it's just not going to leak. You can I can literally just throw that in my makeup bag and it's fine. But I think I'm going to put it in here because I think I'm going to keep this skin stuff separate. Just throwing it all in here. I'm going to put my deodorant in here too. Okay. And see, that's what I'm talking about with this. It's just good. Like, you just can sit this stuff up and it holds, like, full-size things. My eye patches, I love these. I put those on before makeup and I will actually just put that in a little, like, zipper part of this. Along with some Q-tips. I've been using Q-tips a lot, like with my makeup. I was, when I was in um, high school, I would always smudge my eyeliner with them. And I've been doing that again lately. It's like, you know, not a groundbreaking thing, but it's like... That's why I keep all the extra Q-tips under Brad's side. I've been enjoying a Q-tip lately. And... My eye cream, so I have two different ones. This is the one that I mainly use in the morning if I don't do one of those eye patches. Um, at night, I use my retinol one. But if I'm on a trip for a few days, I don't need to pat both of them. This one does perfectly fine for morning and night. It's the Chanel Hydra Beauty, and I just put it right in there. My Sarah Hap Lip Slip Lip Balm. Of course, I have the nighttime version, but I'll just carry this one because it's good whenever. My Kopari Coconut Melt. This is the Coconut Mini Melt. That's like my, that's what I use as lotion. So something that I love about this and something to keep in mind when you do pack, it has a brush right in it, right? It's like a double-sided brush. So it's got the small one, it's got a blendy one. I don't even need to pack a brush, right? Um, I do like to sometimes, always, carry this little guy. This is my like little ride or die, like one of my very first little just favorite makeup brushes where I can use the black to kind of like, you know, on my eye line. And then like little brushes like this, you can literally put in the side right in that little side compartment I'll like lay my little eye brushes over which I don't even think I'm gonna have any I don't need that big brush I've got my beauty blender um what am I gonna use for my oh listen to this I the other day discovered that you can use your beauty blender with this in the same way that you can use in the two fit the two faced wet or dry peach palette you know I would just use my beauty blender the dampened beauty blender and just dab it in the highlight and use it you could totally do that with this too and I don't use so much highlight I just um, dab my beauty blender in it and just bounce it on my face so that's what I did today so I don't even need highlighter brush or anything I can just do that but I do need a brush for the bronzer that's probably like the biggest brush I'm gonna pack, the Chanel one. Just lay that right on top. Um, oh my gosh, like what else? Like I really don't, this brush I do really love for my um, my setting powder. Like not really, cause I don't set my under eye area. I just like to put it here as more of like a, just like a smoothing thing. And um, so I'll pack that. Gosh, I, I'm not gonna use the setting powder really anywhere else. Um, and if I did really want to, I could just wipe this off and use it. That's really it. Do I just did I just pack three brushes for blush? I might pack a blush brush because I can use my beauty blender with that blush, but just pack it, whatever. Oh, I'm definitely gonna pack this. My Hydra Beauty um, Chanel face mist. I'll just put that in there, and then I think I'm gonna bring this. My Chanel Number no. Five Low. I've been really loving that again lately, and of course, like I could bring a roller ball or something. But this is very small and doable and actually I can just stick it right in one of these um, side compartments 
But you know what? This bag is just, and I'll just move that because I don't I mean that's like one little brush. I'll just stick it inside. See? I'll just put it right there on the side. But I mean, I don't know. This bag is like just so easy. Like I literally sometimes like will put everything in just right and sometimes I'll just throw everything in and it still works. I mean, who cares? So that is it with the makeup. And like I said, I could put more stuff in the top of it to like pack it in. All right, let's talk about hair stuff and um, floss. I got that because I've got another floss in my thing and I've got, I'm going to keep my toothbrush out. And of course, some of these things, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, I'll keep out right there until I, until I leave and I'll just throw it in the top of this. But, um, but yeah, like some of these things, of course, I'm going to get back out and use. And I like that because like if I pack right before a trip, I can keep this out on my counter. So if I need to use something, I can put it right back. My hair has been so easy lately and I've loved wearing it straight. I'm not carrying a curling iron or anything. I'm not doing any of that, which makes it really nice. Um, but I do need dry shampoo and let me show you, okay? I thought I would just bust this little baby out. So, in my hair video, you guys saw that I was talking a lot about the Oribe products and um, a couple of new things that I had purchased. I think it was that spray primer. So good if you have fine hair. Um, and because I love the dry texturizing spray from Oribe, I grabbed, I'm like, where is it? Is it still here? Yes, it's here. The, um, the dry thick spray, which I showed you guys. So when I ordered those two, I opened up my box and I was like, what the heck is this? I already grabbed some stuff out of it. So it was even bigger than this. I ordered both of them from Nordstrom. And like, sometimes I'll do this with beauty stuff. Um, like this, I mean, I guess this was from October. It says October, 2018 October hair. So like if you spent a certain amount on hair stuff, um, they throw in one of these and it's like, oh, free beauty gift. And usually you're like, okay, y'all, this is not, this is crazy. There's like a Veda thickening tonic, which I love that. This Omero Vixa, which I love that mud mask. That's like a real fancy brand. Refreshing scalp mask. Um, Moroccan oil, some kind of spray. Oh, the BB. Oh, I've been trying. Oh, I did not think that's what this was. The Bumble and Bubble Thickening Go Big Treatment. Been wanting to try that. Um, the Caviar CC. But let me just show you because there were two samples. So the Orbe. Oh, this is. I love this shampoo. The Orbe Gold Lust um, Repair and Restore Shampoo. I don't think I've ever used the Orbe Color Shampoo. I think. I might bring this with me, so that can be like my little shampoo. Um, and like I said, sometimes, ooh, the whey treatment mask. I have never tried any of the whey stuff. Okay, so the one Frederick Fakai One More Day dry shampoo. That'll be my little dry shampoo that I bring. But anyways, I don't know why. I just got really excited about that because, like I said, I get really excited about samples. Oh, and there was one more thing that it came with too. That's in my shower. That um, that Aveda scalp cleanser. And then oh, I have one more thing. And then my hairspray. Um, the Tresemme Tray 2. This is just what I've used for years. I even use that sometime when I use the Monate, but, um. All right, you guys, so that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I feel good. I feel like I've really accomplished something because I can check that off my list. Like, I've packed. Now I gotta pack my clothes. Not a huge deal, but, um, but thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. I will link to all my good stuff and all the things that I recommended below, or if I ran through any of that makeup quickly, I'll link all of the makeup that I brought. Um, thank you guys for watching, and by the time you see this, let's see, I'm gonna post this on Monday. We're coming back on Monday, so I'm already back from my trip. But anyways, y'all, I am so excited about the holidays. Scoop this up, y'all. I'm telling you, your friends, your family, people are gonna love this, and it's a gift that you could give, like, maybe to your mother and your sister, and they wouldn't feel like, wow, it's the same necklace that we're gonna... No, it's like such a different combo that you could actually give one to all of your girlfriends and they could all wear it and it would be totally different. You know what I'm saying? So it's really cool. Definitely take advantage of it now while you can before they hit on the 12th because, you know, I'm sure that they'll start promoting them and they will probably sell out. So you guys, you guys get the first grab. That's so cool. So I hope that y'all love that. I hope that you're excited, as excited as I am about the holidays. And thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.